Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. It's me, Kaylee. If you are not new here, then welcome back. I'm so glad you came to join me for another video today. And if you are new here, then welcome. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I post a lot of Disney content. I also post some book reviews and some beauty content. So there is really something for everyone. So I hope you will consider subscribing and watching some of my other videos. If you do choose to subscribe, make sure you also hit the bell notification so that you are notified every time I post a new video. So today I'm very excited. I have some pin mail to share with all of you. I have one trade that I'm going to start with and then I have a really exciting package here. I ordered five mystery boxes. You don't get to pick what mystery boxes you get so it's all very very random. I will link the um, the place that I bought them on eBay down below so that you guys can check it out if you are interested. I'm really, really excited to get into this. Sorry if you can hear what's going on outside. My dad is plowing our driveway and everything because it snowed like crazy the past few days. Um, so I'm sorry if you can hear that, but hopefully you can still hear me. So I'm really excited to get into this. I'm hoping to get some keepers and some traders in here. But first, let's start out with the trade. So I trade mainly on the Disney Kitty pin trading Facebook group, which I will link down below. But if you are ever interested in trading with me and you're not on that group or you don't have Facebook or what have you, you can always message me on Instagram at Kaylee's 100 Acre Woods. I always have it at the end of these videos and it will also be in the description below. But anyways, I traded with Holly on that pin trading group so let's see what I traded for so she packaged everything really nicely in this Valentine's Day themed bag it's got a bunch of hearts and X's and O's it's really cute a really nice touch and let's get everything out so I'm gonna start with some of the extras that are in here and then we'll get into the pins so this is really cute okay so she wrote to Kaylee and it's a little Minnie Mouse card it kind of looks like one of those valentines that, that you can get for schools and it says from holly thanks for the trade with daisy on the back and inside it says i hope you have an oh so happy valentine's day and there's a bunch of mini mouses and that's super cute love that and then she included a ghirardelli chocolate it's milk chocolate caramel which is one of my favorites so that's awesome definitely will be eating this she included some Strawberry Punch Valentine's Nerds, which I am a sucker for nerds as well, so definitely will be eating these. And she included this really cute heart small miniature pen, which is really cute. Never gotten a, a pen in a pin trade, so that's kind of cool. Love that. So now let's get into the pins. And she has some really cute washi tape. All, they're different on the, both of the pins, so I'll show you them both. But this one has a bunch of Mickey and Minnie heads, and they're all like little fruits, which is cool. I like that one. So. Oh, yes. I'm very excited for this one. Okay. So I got... So I'm collecting the Worlds of Evil pin mystery series, and I only need three more. She had one of the three that I needed, and it's Scar... That is awesome. I love this pin so much. I'm actually going to get a pin board so that I can show these more clearly. So I will be right back. All right, and I'm back. <laughs> so here again is that scar pin. So excited to have this. And then for this washi tape, it's a bunch of mini ears. And it looks like they're on top of princesses' heads. And oh my god, I love this one. Okay, so this one is clearly a Rapunzel. It has little Pascal on it. That is so cute. And then there's Ariel. And then I'm guessing this one is Aurora. And then Cinderella. That's so cute. I love that washi tape. Holly, if you're watching by chance, you gotta let me know where you got the washi tape because it's so cute. Love that. Oh yes, and I'm very excited for this pin as well. So, if you are new to my channel, I did the Disney College program for 
the spring of 2020 unfortunately got cut short but I was there for the um, festival of the arts but I couldn't find this pin when I was down there when I was able to go to the festival I couldn't find it anywhere so I don't know if it sold out really soon or if like I just wasn't looking in the right places I don't know but I really wanted something to commemorate that festival because it was the first time I ever went to any Epcot, Epcot festival at all so that was really awesome and I loved the festival I spent most of my days off at Epcot at the festival <laughs> um, so and I do have a small collection of Epcot pins I'm starting to trying to get a bunch of different um, park pins to go in each section on my pin board um, so that is slowly starting I know this pin board looks full but most of the stuff up top are not park related <laughs> pins and they will eventually move as I get more and more park pins but this one is the Figment Color Co Epcot International Festival of the Arts for 2020 and it is a limited release pin and it's a pin on pin it has the figment and I just love this and I love the backer card I'm really happy she included the, back the backer card Blech. so let's take a look at the back of the pin a little smaller than I thought but that's okay not a big deal so yeah on the back it has the pin trading stamp and it says limited release and it says Epcot International Festival of the Arts 2020 so I don't know if you can really see that but I promise you it's there <laughs> so these are the two pins that I traded with Holly for all right so now to get into the exciting package so i haven't looked at any of these boxes i have no idea what they are like i said you can get a bunch of different random ones i do want to preface with if i get any star wars or marvel ones i apologize if i don't know any of the characters or most of the characters because i don't really i'm not really into marvel or star wars so i'm just gonna put that out there but anyways you get five randomly selected mystery pin boxes and I'm so excited hopefully we get some keepers and some traders so the first box I'm pulling out is the Disney princess collection with the frames I'm really excited about this so I have never opened this box but I do have one of them I have the Rapunzel but I wouldn't be mad if I got another one because I think that would be a really great trader but yeah any of the other ones would be awesome I probably would keep this no white the rest of them I probably would trade unless they're really pretty in person but let's get into this box and see so this retail price at $15.99 you get your two little baggies let's see what our first pin is oh we got Ariel okay this one's cute it probably will be a trader but it is still very cute and on the frame there is a shell and Sebastian and a little seahorse I am going to take back off and put it on a little pin board so that it is easier to see in the camera very cute pin probably gonna end up being a trader though so let's see what our next one is and we got Belle another great one probably again gonna be a trader don't really collect Belle but that is okay we got two traders very very cute and on this frame you have the Rose and Chip and Mrs. Pop so two really great pins all right, let's go back into the bag and see what we're getting now. Okay, so this also retails as $15.99 in the parks, and it is the Current Mood Mystery Collection. So I have seen these, but I've never actually opened these or traded for any of them, so this is really cool. I don't have any of these pins. So the pins on the back, 
I will show you a close up of the back in a minute, but they are Sebastian, Cheshire Cat, um, Pumbaa, Thumper, um, Tiana and Naveen as frogs, Abu, Stitch, Hercules, the, e um, not the evil queen, the queen of hearts, and Jiminy Cricket. So, the only one that I would probably keep from this is the Stitch and maybe the Hercules, but most of them would probably be traitors. But again, that's okay because I'm growing my traitors, which is good. I probably wouldn't keep the Hercules for myself. I would probably gift it to one of my friends who likes Hercules a little more than I do, but... If it was a mag pen, then I would keep it, but let's see what the first one we got. Okay, so this is a trade. These are really big pins. Wow. I'm impressed. But this is going to be a trader. It is Tiana and Naveen from Princess and the Frog in their frog form. And again, at the bottom, it says current mood. So let's open the second one. And <laughs> look at that. We got Hercules. So, yeah, I probably will keep this one for one of my friends that, like I said, collects Hercules or likes Hercules more than me. But so far, we're not really getting any keepers. But that's okay. It's okay. Now, let's go to the next one. Oh, I was kind of hoping we would get this. Okay. So these are probably all going to be keepers for me most likely because I do collect villains. It is the villains comic book pins. And again, this, these also retail as $15.99. So you can get this one that's on the front. And then there's also um, Frollo, Scar, Hades, the Queen of Hearts, Cruella. Um, why am I blanking on this guy's name? Chernabog. There we go. Jafar, Captain Hook, and Ursula. So if I had to pick a perfect box, I would probably say Scar and Maleficent or a Scar and Hades. But let's see what we get. I probably will collect or keep both of these because I do eventually want to collect the whole set. Oh, and these ones come in little paper. That's cool. All right, so we got Hades. I'm sensing a theme here with um, Hercules-themed pens. And it says, my favorite part of the game, sudden death. All right, and let's see the next pen. And we got the Queen of Hearts. So not one that I was really, really hoping for, but still a good one nonetheless. And this one says, Off With Her Head. Alright, and now let's reach back into the envelope. And we're getting the Origami Mystery Pin Set. Alright. So you can get Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Chip, Dale, Pluto, or Goofy. Again, this is $15.99 in the parks. So a perfect box for me would be Chip and Dale because I collect Chip and Dale. Um, if I don't get Chip and Dale or Minnie, I probably will trade these. I'm not looking to complete this set. It's not one that I really want to complete. But we'll see what we get. Okay, so the first one is mini. And this is actually bigger than I expected. Like, a lot bigger. So I will keep this one because I do collect mini. And again, they're a lot, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. 
And let's see what the next pin is. This one feels smaller. So, maybe Chip or Dale, if I'm lucky. Yes, it is Dale. Okay, I'm excited. He's cute. I do collect Chip and Dale, so I will be keeping this one. Alright, we're getting some keepers now, guys. <laughs> Super cute. Alright, we got one mystery pin box left. So let's see what we're gonna get. Okay. Monsters University. So this is all gonna be traders because I don't really collect Monsters University or Monsters Inc. pins. But again, that's okay. This is retailed at $15.99. So you can get a mic holding some books, the Monsters University hat, Sully head, just Sully's head, Mike's head, Sully like flexing his muscles, um, a Monsters University flag, an MU number one, um, and a divisional winner thing. So those are the pins that you can get in the set. And again, they're all going to be traders for me because I don't collect Monsters Inc. or Monsters University pins. But let's see what we get. I don't have much of an opinion on any of these, but sorry about that. Um, I film on my phone and I guess I was getting a phone call, so I apologize for that random like cut off there, but... Anyways, we're back. I haven't opened the pins yet, but like I was saying, um, I don't really have an opinion because I don't, I'm not going to keep any of these. None of these would be keepers for me, but if I had to pick, I would hope to get like one of the Mike or Sully's or something like that because I think those would be better traders, but let's see what we get. These are also in paper. Okay, so we got the MU number one hand. Let me put it on the cork board somewhere so that it is easier to see. All right, and our last pin of the video. We didn't get any Mike Sully's. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Hopefully someone out there is a really big um, Monsters University collector and doesn't have these pins. Uh, but we got the Monsters University flag. Now, I'm going to put this up in this corner. So these are all the mystery pins that I opened today. Anyways, that is it for this video. We got some keepers, mainly traders, um, but that's okay. It was still really fun to open. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite pin of this video was. Was it one of the ones that I traded for? Or was it one of the ones that I opened? If it was one of the ones that I opened and it is one that I am trading, remember I am trading both of the Monsters University pins, both of the Princess pins, um, the Current Mood Princess and the Frog pin. So mainly those. Possibly the Hercules pin, I'm not really sure yet. Um, and I don't know if I will end up keeping the whole comic book series, so possibly this um, Queen of Hearts 2. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. But anyways, if you're interested in any of those, let me know. Either in the comments below on Instagram or in the Disney Kitty Facebook trading group. I will be posting there pretty soon. Um, probably before this video actually goes up, so... We'll see. Anyways, like I said, let me know what your favorite pin of this video was. I think my favorite 
is the scar pin over here but from the pins that I um from the mystery box that I pulled I think my favorite honestly I didn't think it would be but is this Minnie Mouse origami pin I just really like this one anyways let me know which one is your favorite and I will see you all next time bye guys